darlings it's Bella and welcome to beauty on a budget again now you can see by the title coconut oil and it is my winter hero well actually it's my year round hero but even more so in the winter um, I heard about coconut oil probably about 18 months ago and I would wouldn't like to count the amount of jars I've bought of it since then. Um, I use it for so, so much. But in the winter, I seem to use it even more. Um, I go through so much of it, but it's so, so good. It's such a versatile thing. Now, this one that I've got at the moment is just the Asda. It's 100% raw, extra virgin coconut oil that's the one that I'm using at the moment but I've used a, used a few as long as it's um, organic pure virgin coconut oil it's anybody's will, will be okay um, but I've used the Esther ones because that's the last place I shopped um, now as you know I take my makeup I mentioned this a lot of times before I take my makeup off with it every night because I always double cleanse of a night not in the morning but I always double cleanse of a night so I take my eye makeup off with it and I rub it all over my face and then I put some warm water in the sink put a hot face cloth warm face cloth and I wash all that off my, it takes all my eye makeup off, takes everything off altogether, and it's lovely. And then I do a second cleanse with the face cleaner. Um, Nivea face wash, Garnier, um, a cellar face wash, whatever I'm using. Um, some type of wash um, I do after that, and that keeps my face lovely and clean. And it's the best cleanser for that to initially break that makeup down because when I just used to use the cleansers, um, the face washes, I'd still do it twice, but it never seemed to break the makeup up. Um, it took it kind of off the surface, but it never melted the makeup. <laughs> it sounds awful, sounds like I'll wear stage makeup, but it does need melting your makeup does need melting off and the coconut oil will just do that so easily without so much rubbing um, and then you just need to do a quick wash after and your face is so clean so coconut oil definitely for cleansing now the second thing I always use it for is I use it as a hair mask so when my hair is ready to be washed it's ready to be coloured at the minute, can't you tell? Um, I part it at the back, bring it forward, and I put about three ta three dessert spoons in a cup, and I put it in there. I don't know if I should do this, but I'm telling you, I'm owning up. I put it in the microwave for about 20 seconds, or even 10 seconds, 10 to 20 seconds, and it melts it completely down. And then... I get um, a hairbrush, I've got one in my bathroom that's very very small, that one's full of hairs, that's very small and I put the oil on it, or to put it into the oil and then I put it all through my hair and then tip a little bit of the oil and I put it all through my hair, I don't go right up to the top, I just go kind of from there down so it's all through. Then I tie my hair up in a turby. Um, and I leave that for about an hour. Then I go and shampoo my hair afterwards. Obviously shampoo twice to make sure all the oils out. But it leaves your hair in lovely condition. If you use a pre-shampoo treatment. Honestly, I, I honestly think that coconut oil is the best ones I've ever used. And I've used lots and lots and lots of them. I used to use the John Frieda one, uh, lots of them. But I find coconut oil for a pre-shampoo treatment is, is the best. Another thing I use it for, again particularly in the winter, is I use it as a hand mask. Because my hands, they're getting old, I'm telling you. <laughs> So 
I like to, I do put a hand cream on every night or, you know, whatever I'm using at the time. I, I tend to like the uh, argan oil one. Um, but then about once a week, I will take quite a large um, spoon of coconut oil, rub it all into my hands so that it's really saturated. And then I've got some gloves that um, I think I got them from eBay actually but I mean lots of people sell them you can get them from Amazon you can get them from Superdrug or the body shop it's not an exfoliating glove don't get it muddled up with an exfoliating glove it's a um, it's a glove especially for treatment if you've got oils and creams on your hands you just put that on after and then I leave that on for a couple of hours before I go to bed um, Make sure everything's done, obviously, because you can't wash up and you, you know, you've got to have everything done. So I will make sure I've got my shower done. Or you can sleep in them. I mean, there's nothing to stop you sleeping in them. I get, I don't like anything on my hands when I'm asleep. So I tend to put them on for a couple of hours before I go to bed. Do everything I've got to do. And then the minute I get into bed and I'm in bed and I'm done, then I'll, I'll take them off. Um, but that really, really helps me. Um, and the last thing I wanted to tell you about today, particularly in the winter, is exfoliating your lips, having a lip scrub. Um, I find my lips get worse in the winter. They get drier in the winter. Um, and if they get too dry, when you put the lipstick, lipstick goes bumpy and horrible. And if they get chapped... The skin starts coming off and the way to really do that is to prepare your lips for the winter. Oh, well, I find anyway, to prepare your lips for the winter. So if you use a scrub uh, on your lips, a good scrub, this is what I do. I make up a scrub. I you get a, a bowl, a kind of a storage, little storage, kitchen storage bowl. I put in some sugar granulated sugar, um, a good dessert spoon of coconut oil and then I push it down together and I mash it together, mash it, mash it, mash it. You've got to remember you can keep this in the fridge and then it'll go back to really solid again. Um, so I mash, mash, mash it so it's really all mixed in together and put the lid on and I keep that in the fridge. And then I get a little jar and I take so much out at a time, just enough for about a week. So this is my little jar that stays on my side in my bathroom. And there's what I make up. And then every night when I have my shower, I exfoliate my lips. I get a little bit on my finger, quite a, a generous amount. And I rub it all round. And then I just rinse it off with the chair water and um, I put a lip balm on afterwards. So when I'm out the chair and I'm dry and I'm putting my skincare on, I make sure I put a good lip balm on afterwards. Or you can put more coconut oil on, that would be fine. Um, so they're the things in the winter that I always do. Um, I do a lot in the summer as well, but it seems to be more so in the winter because the winter weather is when you tend to get chapped and dry <clears throat> um, and your hair can get very dry. So all those things to me um, are winners. They work for me and coconut oil really is my hero. Um, and I should have said, what I do with um, my hands, you can do with your feet as well. Um, you can get rub all, it all into your feet, get some just cotton socks, very fine cotton socks, put them on, you look extremely attractive, <coughs> put them on, again just a couple of hours, when you take them off your feet are so nice and soft. Um, and that's really nice because sometimes it's sort of summer with all the sandals and that they can get a little bit harder, can't they, your heels. Although, you know, you should treat more year round really, but we haven't all got the time for that and I understand that. So, um, yeah, just you can do it with your feet, the same thing. So, coconut oil, I would never be without. It's my one product I absolutely love. 
um, I said I heard about it about 18 months ago. I didn't even know about it for that. I learned from it from YouTube, like I learned most of my things. Um, and yeah, it's my hero. And I would suggest anybody tries coconut oil. I love it. <laughs> so that's it, guys. <laughs> Thank you for watching me today. Um, I'll be back again on Friday. Um, it's really getting wintry here now. Can you hear the wind? I don't know if you can hear it, guys, but it's really, really windy here now. Um, is it? I don't know if you can hear it, but it is. It's super windy. So um, I hope you have a good week, guys. I'll see you on Friday. Take care of yourselves and look after each other. Bye, my darlings. Bye. Mm -hmm.